Hey yo, what up? Welcome to Black Savage Entertainment. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and turn your notification bell on. Yo, I got another one for y'all today, man. I got Wack 100. He reacts to DW Flame shooting a music video in Big Sad's neighborhood. Now, this is just escalating the tension between Big Sad and DW Flame. Um, DW Flame recently had to side with Wack 100 that. Big Sad is a snitch after reading this paperwork. The two started going back and forth. So the recent, the latest development is DW Flame went to his neighborhood, went to uh, Big Sad's neighborhood with some of Big Sad's homies. He was out there shooting his music videos. He was doing pull-ups in their hood, off the traffic signs and everything. He wasn't, you know, he was really making a mockery out of Big Sad. So we got Wack 100's reaction to that. And we also got him speaking on Meek Mill and his beef with Poundside Pop. Now, Wack 100 has confirmed that he will be doing an interview with Poundside Pop on No Jumper. After seeing how he and Meek Mill got, he felt it's only right that he get the dude some shine and shed some light on him because Meek Mill was definitely upset that the dude is getting some traction. And he also speaks on Meek Mill uh, attempting to sell one of his cars on Instagram. So I'm going to play the content and let y'all listen to this, man. If you're new, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Let's get it. Did anybody see that DW Flame uh, and Big Sad did? Hell yeah, hood? we seen that shit. What the fuck you think? Had that shit yesterday. Had that shit. What the fuck? The video is crazy. My nigga yeah, doing pull-ups in the middle of his hood. hood. Like what? Oh, DW playing in his video. hood. I said, yo, give me a video. I'm gonna work it for you. That nigga said to be done in two days. That motherfucker was done. They said that 1900 doesn't. Nah, that's some industry shit. Yeah, said, that ain't even. Me and dude made the big sad looking crazy though. Yeah, that was I... DW playing me out there. Oh, sad looking. He crazy. nice was out there. That's, that's his brother. Of course he gonna be there. Uh, yeah, sad, sad, sad looking crazy, bro. He better leave the DW. How do you? How do you fuck? You can't even come back for. He went to your hood on a response disc and did it in your hood doing pull ups on your neck. Yo, you can't That's even beat that. That shit is the lights out, one. done. Dead, dead body That's right there. That's one. it. Not That's... to, not to that. He put, he put the flyer on the damn uh the shit that he was pulling up on. Yeah, that's that's. That's bad. It's been a rough six months for that guy. Yeah, like, you know, people need to, like, leave him alone. I don't know why y'all people just fucking with Big Sad, bro. You know. <laughs> Who kicked it off? You know, shit ain't right. Shit no, ain't right. No. <laughs> people just fucking with this guy. You know, it ain't cool. This nigga bro. whack is a nut. You know, that shit is not cool. <laughs> and, you know, just leave Big Sad. He's already sad. He can't be a bigger sad. Okay. <laughs> Just leave him alone, man. <laughs> Has he responded to the video? I don't think so yet, Wack. I don't know. I don't think so. That's hey, Wack, so you got the content going. So you started the content over here with the Brick Baby shit. That shit's, that shit's your, your hand. I mean, we, we all... Shout out to you for that. You got the big sad shit. You got the meek shit. You got the fucking... <laughs> Oh, this motherfucker's a yo! I love this shit, whack. I love this shit. Can't get it. I can't get enough of it. Oh yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> the nigga that uh, <laughs> academics interview, the nigga that Meek Mill don't like. Yeah, yeah, I got him coming. He coming to academics. He coming to no jumping this week. Yeah, that's Poundside Pop. <laughs> yep. Wait, who that? The uh, Poundside Pop. Yeah, he coming. Yeah, okay. I got. I got a hold of him. Shout out to the goo. Yeah, Mar Marvin down in the goo. He down there. Marvin went and found him. Marvin, the homie from Philly, be down there. Put together the play. He from Philly? Yeah. Holy shout out to Marvin. He rap or something? Poundside, Poundside, uh, pop, Poundside pop. That's where uh, he rap, yeah. He, he rap? rap. He, yep, that he nigga, I seen it. that that nigga Meek Mills was bothered by that academic shit. He did not like the fact that dude got some traction. 
And, the, and whack, you see him, he's driving around the neighborhood at night talking about he was looking for him with a check engine light on and it's a hundred thousand dollar car. Who, me? Yeah, you didn't see that post he did? Mm-mm. I ain't been keeping up. He been tripping. He was driving. He put in Philly looking for it. Like, like, yeah. He hot. He he hot. He definitely mad. Nigga, nigga need a catalytic converter. Nigga over here riding around without an oil change. She wild. <laughs> um, get your life together, my nigga. It's priority. Who's his warranty? It's fucked up, fucked up to say that music shit really might not be selling. Niggas selling his cars on Instagram and everything. Who's that? Meek put, put a post on there selling his Taddy. No, Meek album did flopped, flip flopped. Meek selling? What's Meek selling? It's Caddy. Put a post on yeah, there. Yeah, he on some Craigslist shit. What, Escalade? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He just posted that on Instagram like maybe an hour ago when I talked about it. Yeah, he posted that on his IG. He's trying to. What he only sold six thousand, didn't he? Is it bulletproof or something? I don't know. It gotta be. Yeah, cause he he tried to sell it last year. That nobody bought that shit. No shit. Oh, he tripping. Nigga, take that shit back to the dealership. Or oh, not? What he need to do is take it down to uh, Miami and let one of them car companies work it. That's what he need to do? Go get that motherfucker to. Uh, Blue Da Vinci, and let him put it to work. Hey, man, that's the end of the audio, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. How y'all feel about DW Flame going to Big Sad's neighborhood, shooting a music video? Do y'all think that's going to just escalate the tension between these two? Do you think Big Sad is going to respond to this video? Do you think anything is going to come from this video that was shot in Big Sad's neighborhood? And furthermore, man, how y'all feel about Poundside Pop? I don't really listen to his music, so I'm going to have to do my own research and form my own opinion about him as an artist. But he definitely seemed to ruffle Meek Mill's feathers after he gained a little traction online the past couple of weeks with the Academics interview. And now that Wack One is confirming that he will be on No Jumper, I can only see that he will be uh, further put into the limelight and uh, his followers are definitely going to go up. So uh, salute to him. Um, hopefully he can uh, gain something, gain some good momentum off of this interview and uh, push his career to the next level. And uh, Meek Mill, I don't think nothing wrong with him, you know, selling one of his cars. It seemed like it was like a bulletproof uh, Escalade. He wanted like 170K for it. So it definitely got to be bulletproof. But he can definitely, like Wax said, he can put it out to the exotic rental cars, let them rent it out to people. Um, it's definitely a, a way you can get some money back from that uh, investment. So let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. If you made it this far, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Get this video a like so we can reach more viewers. And uh, turn your notification bell on so you know when I post the next video. Until next time, peace.